What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Mindful Games, where I talk about personal development, learning, growing, and evolving as a human being. I'm Bryce, and in this video, I wanted to talk about a book that I recently read. It's called The Man's Guide to Women. Now, if you're anybody like me, you love women, but also you're really into understanding a woman's operating system. I have definitely been someone who has tripped himself up in the past, whether or not I was being overly emotional or just not really understanding myself as an individual, which really played into my relationships and my dynamic with women. And the book is written by John Gottman and his wife, Julie Schwartz Gottman. And they're both psychologists. They're both marriage counselors. And they just have been doing it for a long time. I know Gottman, I think I saw is like 81 years old now. So the book is really a compilation of a lot of information that they've gathered in dealing with all types of different relationships, different people, and just different dynamics. And they've just put it into this really easily readable and easily digestible book. It's about 15 chapters and it's broken down into six different parts, you know, that go from dating, understanding, making love to a woman and stuff, stuff like that. Doesn't have all this like, super scientific type of um, language in it where you have to Google words while you're trying to read it. So I just wanted to touch on some of the key points and some of the things that I took away. They kind of lead off with the number one thing that a woman wants from a man. Of course, we all want to know what that is. And I'm going to get right into that. But before I do, make sure you hit that like button for me. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you know when I drop more content. All right. So this book says, the number one thing that women want from a man is trustworthiness. Okay. Now I know hearing that we might be like, Hmm, that's really what they want. But yeah, it makes sense, right? Trustworthiness, not just meaning to not cheat on somebody or to be loyal to somebody, but as a man to do what you say you're going to do, be who you are. Don't be shifting and, and, and being a chameleon, be reliable, be somebody dependable. A woman wants somebody that she can lean on and who she can put her trust into, knowing that the ship isn't going to sink if she does so. So I found that pretty valuable. I feel like I already kind of had an idea of that. But reading this book and, and seeing the words on paper really just kind of helped you know, make that connection. Like, oh, OK, that makes sense. Another one of the key points that I took away from this, learning to attune to a woman, not be in tune, but attune and not just women, but learning to attune to anybody, whether it's a coworker, a friend, your kids. And attune stands for this acronym, attend, turn towards, understand, non-defensively listen and empathize with your woman. Learning to do this is a superpower, I think. It's an awesome skill and it will create that connection and allow your woman or whomever to really just feel cared about and thought of and understood. And I think that's something that we as men should really learn to start to put into practice and putting it into practice with other people in our lives. I think I think it's an all around great skill. Some of the other key points the book touch on, it's to provide emotional safety for your woman as well as that physical safety. OK, now, like I said, that pretty much goes without saying, but I think it's underestimated how valuable emotional safety is for a woman. Emotional safety is equal to like comfort for a woman. If she don't feel emotionally safe with you, you're done. You know, so being mindful of that. And learning how to provide that for a woman is, is very important as well. And what they mean by that is, as a man, being able to remain in your integrity. So back to that word attune, where you non-defensively are listening, where you're listening for understanding and not listening to respond to your woman. You're not trying to fix all of her problems, but you're trying to let her know that she's heard. Like, like I get it. I completely understand like validating your woman in that way. That's that's very important to be able to do that. But yeah, providing that emotional safety, which allows your woman to know that she can come to you and bring anything to you. And you're not going to go off the handle and be like, ah, but 
Or, you know, hey, can you take out the trash and be like, oh, we take out the trash. What you talking about? Like that type of stuff like that creates that level of security and that level of comfort uh, for a woman where she knows that she could bring anything to you and you're going to be her rock. And that requires us to do work on ourselves as well so that we don't get tripped up on, you know, those certain things that may prevent us from being able to provide that emotional safety. That's stuff that I've had to work on and I continue to work on. There's a lot of conditioning that we've grown up with or that have been put on us that we need to start kind of questioning and, and going back and undoing certain patterns so that we don't react in certain ways when someone says, hey, you're not doing this right or hey, could you do this better? And we're not coming from like that reactive place because ultimately that messes up the emotional safety. The book's got some other key points on there. Like I said, it's broke down into six different tiers. It's 15 chapters broken down into six different tiers. For instance, it talks about dating a woman and it talks about the limerence stage. You know, when you first start kicking it with somebody and maybe you have or you haven't slept with them, but you've been close with them, you might have kissed them, you kind of hug in, bonding. It creates that spark that that it's like the start of the honeymoon phase where you're like, oh, shit, this this feels great. And it's where oxytocin, that bonding hormone shuts down your fear responses and it kind of clouds your judgment. You're not thinking with a clear mind because you're in that honeymoon phase and everything is feeling so righteous, if you know what I mean. So I thought that was I thought that was dope, too. Like I said, every everything that they explain in this book is explained so well. They got like cool little pictures and stuff in there and like kind of like comic strips and stuff like that, just to kind of create some humor to the book. And it's it's not boring. Like I said, it flows really well. Some of the other stuff the book talks about is learning to not take a woman's emotional swings personally. And I've been guilty of that myself. But learning to just understand that, look, the woman you're dealing with on Monday, she might not be the same woman on a Friday from an emotional standpoint. You know, they go into like a woman's cycle and all this type of stuff, too, and how it might change um, the presentation of your woman that you may be getting. I'm not going to get into all that, but it's, it's, it's really learning to, hey, don't take it personally. Pretty much don't take anything personally, which is also another valuable thing to to learn and to implement into your life. And I have another video on that that I'll be sure to leave in the description box. and Y'all make sure to check that out. The book talks about how men and women ultimately want the same thing. We all want joy. We all want intimacy. We all want great sex. We all want to be understood and stuff like that. You know, so it's not as complicated as we as men can make it sometimes. I just wanted to give this quick review on this book, which I think is a really good tool to just add to your arsenal, along with pairing it with some other books and some other material out there. Um, for example, How to Be a 3% Man by Coach Corey Wayne. I did a review on that book recently. I'll also leave a link for that video in the description box below. Be sure to check that video out. But yeah, I think pairing this book along with some other material that's out there can be very helpful. I don't really have anything bad to say about the book. It's very easy to process and that's not a bad thing. If you're somebody who's really into understanding male and female dynamic, you want to get better at understanding your woman, whether you're out here dating or you've been in a long-term relationship, this book is definitely something that you need to have on your bookshelf. But yeah, y'all be sure to check out some of those other videos that I mentioned. Hopefully you enjoyed this content and don't forget to hit that like button and I'll see y'all in the next one. All right, I'm out.